know if it's going to make you feel good about yourself or not, but <laughs> it covers the whole dining room table. And they're all, um, oh my gosh, there are things in here from like two, the year 2000, like phone bills from the year 2000 and like uh, an electric bill from 2002. Why would you need to keep an electric bill from 2002 and it's 2011? We do it all online. Um, if you are not online with bill payments, you might want to check that out because it saves so much of the hassle of paperwork. A lot of it is just like catalogs. You know, she got Toys R Us thing in the mail, like just things in the mail, an L Bean catalog, things like that. Um, so I was looking at this Toys R Us one. I was like, oh, ten dollars off, you know, purchase. We might need that, and then. I looked closer and it was like expired in 2003 <laughs> so anyways the point is I guess is to not procrastinate if you get mail and it's something you don't want or need or use or are going to use get rid of it right then if you need to invest in a little shredder put it near I don't know your door or wherever wherever you go through your mail try and tuck it away in a cabinet something like that be a good idea anyways this whole thing is just like boggling my mind because I mean even just credit card offers get a credit card offer you don't want the credit card throw it away right then wouldn't it be nice to just have a file folder for like that year sort it and label it by whatever you want whether it's by whatever company gives you the bill or you can sort it by the year so all of 2006 is in one file or all of 2006, the gas is here, the um, bank statements are here, the credit card statements are here, the, I don't know, all that. But you've got to come up with a system. Um, she doesn't have a system. It looks like her system is when you get the mail, put it in a bag, leave it there for seven years <laughs> or, or more. Invest in a little file cabinet to come up with a system to keep your paperwork in order. Because this paper tiger is out of control. It's like running loose out of the zoo. And try and make a decision on things. Um, and be honest with yourself. Like I know myself well enough to know that when that value pack coupon comes in the mail. There, there's one thing that I'll ever use out of it. And it's always like for my favorite ice cream store. They always have one coupon buy one get one free. That's the only one I ever use. And I've clipped several before, the, the tire changes and stuff like that. I never end up using all those. The best thing to do is to call a tax advisor and just see exactly what you need to keep and for how many years. But yeah, those everyday little bills, the AT&T phone bill that comes in, that all can be sent to you online. I've got like four different points in here. Get your bills online. Let's see, what were they? Get your bills online, invest in a shredder, and hide it away, make decisions as they come in the door, be honest with yourself about things you're keeping, are you really going to clip that coupon and use it or whatever. Um, come up with a system, a file system. I don't know, those are all these random thoughts that are flowing through my head. La, 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 la. This is exciting though because look how much is leaving. You know, that's a really good... I mean, these were like under the bed, in the bookcases, um, just everywhere. So the room is going to look a lot nicer. And okay, another thing, don't use cardboard to store these. Ugh. Cardboard attracts roaches and pests. They love to get into cardboard paper, anything paper too, really. So that's another reason why to get your paper under control, because if it's everywhere, Bugs like to have a paper hut and they, they like cardboard. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on the Green Apple Home. I need to get some sleep, goodness. Mm -hmm.